Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Well, Wade is back at the Lizard Lounge for an afternoon hunt after he had encountered a big nine point a couple of days before. Kevin and I were able to slide in here. Uh, we parked the Viking a pretty good ways away. We, you know, hike up a hill. We get set up and situated in this ground blind that we have, you know, set in several times now. And, you know, we're kind of, we've got a shooting lane here, a shooting lane here, and a little bit to the left, but everything had to work perfect there. And these deer were coming out of an old creek down in front of us, and there was actually a lot of water in it right now. And uh, they'd come up through some uh, persimmons and some pear flats and then mill around here and there. And uh, as we're sitting there, I mean, you'd see this buck go by and you'd see that buck go by and they'd run a doe off and they'd thrash a tree over here. I mean, when I spotted this buck, there was no doubt in my mind that this was a deer if I had a chance to shoot him that I would take him. But the biggest challenge here is we had a lot of eyeballs milling around chasing. I mean, I, it, I was kind of expecting one of them to jump in the blind with us. And this buck is going in and out, and zipping in and out, and darting in and out, chasing those, and chasing other bucks off. And when I finally was able to get it up and anchor, you know, my elbow down to take that shot, I mean, the rest is funny to me. It's like a blur. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> smoke that sucker. That's a dead deer. That's a dead deer right there. I mean, you can hear them pumping, chasing. The whole deal's going on right there. Whew, that thing's about that wide and about that tall. I mean, shaking. There's a busted up eight, another eight point out there. That ten point smoked that deer. <laughs> Man. I mean, <laughs> I watched that knock go right where it's supposed to go. Oh my God. Oh yeah. That's a big deer right there, boys. Give it to Man. I don't even know where you start after something like that. I mean, I'm still shook up. I'm going to run down here. And get the Viking and bring it up here. I mean, I, I like to give them tons of time. I feel pretty confident that deer has just been smoked, but you never know. Yeah, here's some of that on the ground there. Blood all over the place. Oh, you yeah. See all the blood there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Blood over here and blood. Hey Wade? Yeah. Come back here for a second. You too, Jeff. There's blood over here and blood over there. It kind of comes to a V, so would he have done something stupid? There's blood over here too. That's where he came from. That's where he came from. So, and what about over there? I thought that's where he I mean, came from. You've got a trail of blood through here. 
you got big old blood right through there. Oh, here. Wait. Uh -oh. Hey, go back. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, good night. We get that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> uh. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> Our biggest thing. I think we he's dead right there. Right there. there he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's more fun to share it with your buddies. Oh, wow. More fun to share it with your buddies right there. <laughs> I'm going to double fist this one with both Cyclops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he didn't go 50 yards. I was so shook up in the blind. I had to sit there and keep waiting on everybody. <laughs> <sighs> Boy, look how wide the sucker is. <laughs> I'm you, dude, you could, I could see him over there thrashing those trees. Oh, man. As I look at my, you know, crossbow hunting adventures for the year. I spend a lot of time with a crossbow in my hand and it's phenomenal to hunt with. I mean, you know, whether I'm, I'm shooting a doe or shooting hogs and I'm sitting in a tripod or I'm sitting on the ground, it is just an absolute rush. And the accuracy and the power that these uh, 10 point crossbows have to be able to do the job and ensure that, you know, you as a hunter, if, if you pull the trigger right, are gonna be rewarded with a great shot. I mean, it just makes for a phenomenal hunt and a great story at the end of the day.